Uh, technically the mayor of Melbourne. That's a uh, full-time, any kind of job that if the city employees aren't here, well, I have to do and pick trash to fit, help fix water leaks, to go read water meters and then take care of any other stuff that comes down the state. It was 2010, I was asked to be on the city council and I was there till about a year and a half ago and then became the mayor. We haven't had anybody to run, so I was appointed. Well, it's a farm and ranching community. It used to be a family could make a living here on 160 acres. Uh, maybe they had one tractor and they did it to sell and the kids worked. And well, a long time ago, it was cotton was a, was a big crop here because actually Melvin had three gins. You probably don't believe that, but. You kind of scratch your head at, at a little town like this when you know most of the water system has been here since the 30s, 1930s or so. Thursday we had a water leak at the water tower and I had to be up there helping our water operator fix the leak there. And we had 30 degree weather and ice everywhere and it wasn't too pleasant, but we got it done. I don't know what the population of Melvin was at one time, but probably over a thousand at one time. And what is it now on the sign, 154 or something? I guess since the 1990s, it probably has decreased about 40 people or so. So we haven't truly have fallen that much. But you know, it's, a, it's like any other little town. It just comes and goes. People move off they get where they can't make a living. And so it gets smaller and smaller, you know. I don't guess there's anything to do around here. There's a lot of hunting. If you like that, if you call that fun, I guess. 